everybody. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and my incredibly sleepy sidekicks. Hope you stick around. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. If you are returning, a huge thank you for the amazing support. If you're new, I'm Laura. This is Wyatt. This is Zena, and the two of them just like to hang out with me while I create my videos, but this is how they contribute. For today, I have for you my Wantable Summer Nights collection. So um, Wantable is a style box, and they have a style edit, they have an active edit, and they have a sleep and body edit. This falls in the category of style edit. Within each of those edits, they tend to have themed boxes, and this one is the Summer Night Limited Time themed edit. Okay, um, if you are new to Wantable, there is a $20 styling fee. You get seven styles. If you keep at least five, you will get a 20% discount on anything that you keep. Otherwise, keep what you love, send back what you don't, and your $20 styling fee does get credited against anything that you decide to keep. Um, Wantable does not have shoes, but they do have accessories. And let's see, they have a whole range of styles from um, the inexpensive to the expensive. So you do want to set your price range to whatever makes you comfortable. And they have a stream on their site where you can request items or decline items. And if you request something, it goes onto your wish list. And when it becomes available in your size, your stylist will try to get it into your next edit. All right, here we go. Right on the flaps, they'll tell you what to do when you get your box. Your stickers on your box are on your <laughs> on your paper, your tissue paper here are always personalized, which I love. I think that is such a fabulous touch. And let's get my bundle out and see what this looks like. All right, so here's my bundle. And then right on top, you get a pamphlet that tells you all about your styles, notes from your stylist, your pricing sheet. This one is logoed for the Summer Nights Edit, and it says it is a style edit. Um, you get an envelope to turn anything you don't love and don't want to keep. All right, so first up, it looks like I have a tank. This one is by Gentle Fawn. So it has a V-neck both front and back. It is in a silky material, and it does feel like it's doubled up, like two layers here. And it's really silky. Next up, I have something from Skies Are Blue. This is in velvet, so it's in black velvet, has that lace trim. So I'm not sure. I mean, it, that would be nice for something like dressy, I guess. All right. And now next I have something floral. Let's see what this is. I think, oh, I think this is a kimono. It's in a ditzy print. Check that out. So yeah, it's tiny little ditzy print and it is a little kimono style wrap. Okay. Next I have something from RD Style. This looks like a shirt jacket style thing. <laughs> style thing. <laughs> looks like a shacket. So it's in this pretty baby blue. Um, if you're hearing noise, I have planes flying over my head today. Anyway, so there's not a lot I can do. Anyway, this is in a baby blue. It's in a soft material. And um, that'll be interesting to try on. It's not bad. All right. And then I have shorts. This is by Vigold. Oh, so it says Vigold, but then it says Vigos. That's interesting. So Vigold up here and Vigos on the tag. All right, and these are pretty funky, so check those out. What do you think of these? Kind of interesting, right? I have another pair of shorts. These are by Vervet. These look like a high waist. These are the mom short, it's called. OK. 
Okay, and then, oh, I have something from Paige. These are the High Rise Laurel Canyon High Rise Boot. Check these out. I don't typically get designer from them. Those are nice. I like those. These are very soft, comfy. They feel very comfy. It says um, luxurious comfort, super stretch fibers, authentic washes, high rise boot. These are 32 inch inseam. I'm usually a 28. So these might be really long on me, but looks like they could be cut if I love them. All right, let's get to this try on and see what works. All right, I decided to start with the most unique pieces first. Um, and that would of course be these interesting shorts with the three different colors in them. They do have lots of room at the widest part of your leg. They have the three different colors of denim in them from light to darker. Here's what they look like. They actually fit in the waist pretty well. I think they'll relax a little bit. I did a quick little front tuck with this cami. So remember that the theme for this particular edit was summer nights. So it's all about dressing up a little bit, I think, for summer evenings. So whether they be on a deck, on a patio, whatever it may be. So it's meant for those summer evenings. Um, so I think this is a cute look. I don't have a problem with them. I think they're kind of different. I'm trying to decide if I would grab for them, but they're fun. Cute with a, just a little t-shirt for a day look, and then you can always dress them up for an evening look, depending on what shoe you would put on with them, right? And they are more relaxed. They're not tight, which I like. And then this velvet cami is actually pretty. It's dressy, it's got the lace, it's got you know, velvet, the back is very pretty. So I like that kind of tee back. And here's what it looks like out. So you could also leave it out if you wanted. It's got some nice flow. It would look really pretty with white on the bottom, has the notches. So I think this would be cute. You could also dress it up and wear it with the denim, which I was thinking about trying it on with that as well. Um, but I think I'll go the route with the white tank. So this one is the Lace Detail Velvet Cami in Black, $49. And then these are the High Rise Patchwork Short in Medium Wash by Vigos, they're saying $58. And then if you wanted to make sure you had something to cover in case it gets cooler, you could always go with this Ditsy Print little cover up on top. And that would look nice even if you did go with a white jean, a full jean, a little skirt. So this would look pretty on top. And then the velvet gives it that little bit of the dressier look. And this ditzy print is very pretty. I'll try it on with the white too just so you can see that with the white tank. But I think it looks nice with the, the black. It's a nice layer, just enough to like hold off the cool breeze in the evening and would give you an extra layer. Next up, all right, so I put this um, ditzy print kimono back on with a completely different outfit. Now I have on the mom short and the white tank, and this one has like the deeper V in both the front and the back in a nice silky material. So here's just the full length. I wanted to show you what this looked like with a completely different outfit. Still think this would be a cute evening look if you're having a casual um, outdoor event. I think the kimono really does add something super cute. All right, so I'm gonna take it off and show you these other items here. So this tank, I like. It has this nice deep um, V, but it sits close to the body, so you don't have to worry about it getting loose. It is a little bit shorter, or well, maybe not. You can pull this long. So yeah, here's how long it is. Here's the back. It also has the deep V in the back. And then the mom jean, of course, comes all the way up to the belly button, so it is a high rise. It gives you lots and lots of leg room. Probably what? I would call this the five inch or six inch inseam.
yeah and I have a little bit of room in the waist but nothing major I would just leave it as is and I think this is um, a great short get closer so you can kind of see this material it is a silkier material and of course the shorts All right, so these items. The Dissy Floral Short Sleeve Kimono in Black is $49. And then the Starling Tank in White by Gentle Fawn is $42. And the Rigid High Rise Mom Short in Medium Wash is $58. All right, and I think I'm going to let me add on this other um top and see what this looks like with the shorts and then we'll try it with the denim as well because i wanted to see what this looks like all right so this one is super soft went on very nicely i want to see how it looked with shorts just so you guys can see that so it hits about the same length as a short so this would be another fun layer again for evenings right and you could obviously and i love that it's like a light blue it's not something that really kind of speaks to colder weather very well um, it really does speak nicely to the summer. You could cuff it or you could leave your sleeve down. I kind of like the, the cuffed casual look to this. Um, this would probably be more when it's true evening and I'm outside and the temperatures are dropping. I might need something more like this. The kimono would probably be nice during the day for me if, it's, if I need it. But I think this looks cute with the shorts. What do you guys think? Here's the cuffed one and that baby blue color. Yeah, I like this. All right, and this one is called the Knit Button Up Blouse and Pale Aqua by Artie Style. And I think that was a fighter plane that just flew over my head, if you guys could hear that. Um, $69. I should probably go outside and watch them. All right, and let's do the last outfit. Final item is the page denim. All right, so how about these? I did have to put on a higher heel. I would have to trim these just a bit. They have that fun boot cut at the bottom. They are a higher rise, but they hit me right at my belly button, so not too, too bad. Incredibly soft, soft material. The boot cut, all the cuts are in, right? So I told you, don't get rid of your skinnies. All the cuts are in. Nothing is out. Every leg style, wide leg, boot cut, straight leg, skinny, they're all in. You can't go wrong with denim right now, which I absolutely love. So I think this is a great fit. These were actually on my wish list, my stylist told me, and I believe they probably were because I was looking at these. <laughs> so I'm um, glad she sent them to me so I could try them. I think they're super fun. And we will add the little uh, shock it back on top again just to see what this looks like for fun this would be for a cooler evening if you guys live by a lake this would be a cute little lake outfit well it seems like when the sun goes down it gets so much cooler right yeah i like this Let me get closer so you can kind of see this denim wash And that's all my pieces. So the page are going to be expensive, I would imagine. Yes, High Rise Laurel Canyon Boot in Marianne by page 229. So I was afraid of that. So I would only keep these if I'm going to get the 20% off discount. So that means I'd have to keep five. Um, so I would have to think about that. Everything, all seven items, 554. If you if you keep five more, you get the 20%. So 20% off everything would be 110.80, bringing it down to 443.20. Plus, I get the $20 styling fee off, so be $4.23 for everything. All right, so let's talk. What do you think are the keepers? What did you like the best? Um, I actually thought it was a pretty good box. Overall, I think everything is great. I could potentially find a place in my wardrobe for all of it. 
I um, am surprised I didn't get a dress. That's what I would have expected for like an evening look. So I'm super surprised these are more of a definite casual laid back summer nights, right? Um, so right now I'm very undecided. I have to decide how badly I want the page denim. And since I keep saying I'm not buying any more full length denim this year, I'm not sure. I thought the Dissy print kimono was really cute. I thought these were interesting. I'm just not sure if I would grab for them. In fact, I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might not. Um, the mom short was nice, but I'm not sure if I liked it as much as some of my other denim. So I'm not really thinking I may keep that. I thought this was also nice, um, but I'm not sure I want to wear black velvet in the summer. I tend to wear the velvet in the winter, so I feel like I don't want to wear it in the summer. Not that you can't. I'm just not sure I want to, if that makes sense. Um, but I did like this tank. I love a good white tank in the summer, and I kind of did like this as a topper, and I feel like this would be basically um, all year wear, this cute little shirt, so I'm debating about it. So it all comes down to um, what I thought, what I think I really need to add to my wardrobe, and I'm very torn right now. So I'll list all these items down below, um, and in case you want to request anything from your stylist, I'll put my link to Wantable down below, because if you use my link, you'll get $35 towards your first box. Whether you pick a themed box as your first box, a style edit, an active edit, or a sleeping body edit, if you use my link, you'll get $35 towards your first box. Share your favorite. What do you think I should add to my closet? I can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Hit that like before you go. And I hope you hit that subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me keep doing this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.